All right, if you're into aircraft communications, hang out here, and we're going to go over uh, receiving some satellite-based ACARS messages. Uh, in the two previous videos, I showed another look at Dump HFDL and Dump VDL2. This time, uh, because I'm testing a new build of SDR receiver that now includes native support for SDR play, I wanted to, of course, tie that into Jero. And uh, I'm running all of this on Dragon OS on a small board computer, in this case a Latte Panda, that is part of my remote solar powered SDR station. So I am remotely connected right now to record this video. Uh, I have a station that has clear line of sight and uh, basically a uh, RSP Bravo from SDR Play is out there. An older patch panel from RTL SDR blog is out there. And I've got that set up and looking at MRSAT 98 West. And I'm going to try and use uh, Jero and show how SDR receiver data uh, passes over ZMQ to Jero. I have the SDR receiver uh, GitHub page pulled up here. You can see that if you wanted to build this outside of DragonOS, there's a branch that has uh, SDR play support. On DragonOS, however, if you have done a, if you've installed a, a recent build of uh, DragonOS Noble, I have a PPA that uh, I push some additional packages to, and so if you do a sudo app update and sudo app install SDR receiver, you should end up with a build of SDR receiver that'll have that. SDR Play support. I've already done that prior to this video. You'll also get, which I'll show here in a second, an example INI file, a configuration file to run. It's not perfect. I've actually been kind of messing with it for uh, on and off these last couple days, just trying to tweak things. A lot of stuff to learn. Uh, but if you're new to Jero, it's a demodulator and uh, decoder for the MRSAT Classic Aero system. It's used for aircraft ACARS messages via satellite. So MRSAT satellites carry multiple aero channels in the L-band, usually about uh, 1545 to 1550 um, gigahertz, 1.5 uh, gigahertz. These channels, uh, they handle, I've seen like uh, digital voice, uh, text, position reports, and so when you tune Jero to the right frequency, it's decoding the signal and starts to display the ACARB messages in real time. And I'll show that, hopefully, while we're, while we're doing this. So uh, I'm on uh, about 1545. Um, I'll, and I'll show that So I'm in my configuration file here. So as part of the uh, update to SDR receiver, there's a SDR Play 98 West. And now I should point out, I tried to put that together and so I've been tweaking it. You can kind of get an idea of what mine looks like uh, after having made some changes here. I was messing with uh, sample rate, center frequencies, uh, kind of going back and forth with tuner gain. Uh, the VFOs down here, uh, there's 27 of them. And you can see each VFO has a, a topic. Now, remember, that'll be important here in a second when we uh, show 0MQ. But it's it's a little weird with gain per VFO, and, you know, I was trying to research and read on that. I've went back and forth with settings. So this is by no means perfect, and I'm probably missing um, some proper settings here that I need to work through. But um, I'll show the basics of it, and hopefully a proper uh, configuration file will become part of the repository out there or if you know somebody wants to share a little bit of their settings uh, please do but what we need to do for this uh, is I'm in the user source SDR receiver sample INI that's just where it is in Dragon OS and I'm going to tell SDR receiver to use that configuration file so when I start that up I'm going to get a graphical user interface here. I can see my RSP1 Bravo is uh, recognized. It's got bias T, which you're going to need to turn on, and you're going to need to start the SDR. So start the SDR, can able, uh, enable the bias T. You can look at uh, the spectrum for each VFO 
VFO 1 through uh, 27. I'm just going to leave it on main for right now. And I, like I said, I do notice it. the, the, the spectrum, I, I don't think, looks exactly like what I was uh, expecting. But it is uh, working in some cases, so it's at least a good starting point. We're going to open another window one of these windows here. So we got SDR receiver, yep. We'll let that run. And then we can just start up Jero. And I've had it, I've, I've already opened it. And I was just getting it set up uh, by going to the uh, settings window here. I'm using, of course, ZMQ as opposed to an audio source so the data from SDR receiver is of course on localhost port 6003 that 0MQ data I've got that checked and I was just looking at VFO 10 and trying to tweak some of the gain settings to get the volume not where it's red it's still going red if I look down here I can see uh, VFO 10 just still doesn't quite look right but Now you're basically down to setting speed and locking. Uh, I was kind of reading up on those. I'll let it run for just a little bit here. But you can see a message that I received just not long ago here that uh, was from a particular uh, aircraft uh, message that came out here. So there's some pretty interesting info. I'll see if I can get one to, to come across while uh, I'm recording this just to show you here you can change VFOs to those different uh, ones that were listed now you may need to, to move and kind of center this uh, you may even at times need to change your speed and, and locking right there we'll see if our constellation cleans up a little bit Now you can have multiple windows open here as well. So what I mean by that is we can have multiple instances of Jero. Somewhere. So now we got two. Let's look at something different here. You can just keep opening these um, based on how much resources you have. Alright, so there we go. There was a message that um, came across. Really was just kind of wanting that to happen just so that you can see that it is working. There does need to be some tweaks, I feel like, um, you know, and especially to get some of those, those higher and different um, data types. But it is uh, looking pretty promising for the RSP Bravo, obviously, and yeah, so we received uh, some satellite-based uh, ACARs. All right, well, hopefully that is helpful. If I find out any more info or get a uh, better understanding of how that configuration file is put together, I will update. All right, thanks.